Hi everyone, welcome to day 11 of our journey through 40 days with the Holy Spirit. Uh, thank you to Kirsty for what she shared with us yesterday and uh, the very powerful image of both prayer and mission that were part of yesterday's reading in Acts. And we're going to be looking at it at that again uh, this coming Sunday, looking at prayer and mission as we emerge from lockdown together. So join us for the live stream service on Sunday morning if you can. Um, the weather's just starting to, to spit with rain, so we're going to need to keep this uh, quite tight today. But it was, uh, it's still lovely to be out in this prayer garden. I've really grown to love it over these days. Uh, it's been a real gift and a, and a blessing. So today we're going to look at one of Paul's letters, uh, Galatians chapter 4. And uh, to these words, which I'm going to read to us. But when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son born of a woman, born under the law, in order to redeem those who are under the law, so that we might receive adoption as children. And because we are children, God has sent the Spirit of his Son into our hearts, so that we can cry, Abba, Father. So we are no longer a slave, but a child. And if a child, then also an heir through Christ. Words that sort of echo perhaps how we feel, um, and we know these words, but let's just explore them a little bit deeper today for a moment. Paul was very much speaking about uh, this with an image in his mind when he talks about uh, Galatia. Galatia as a province was the breadbasket of that part of the world, a bit like Galilee is in Israel. And it really was a contrast place between the those who have and those who didn't have there were many rich wealthy landowners and they had sons and daughters but the farms uh, and all the produce was managed and produced by a number of laborers and servants and slaves and the life between those two groups was was huge and Paul is using that as an image for us because he's trying to say that whether in society or in church even we can so easily live as a servant or a slave uh, and in this context that's not meant to be a positive thing it's meant to be someone who lives by worry by fearing that we're not doing it right we're not getting it right of not wanting to stand out of wanting to be anonymous of just keeping our head down and in the process limiting who we are and Paul's trying to say this this isn't what God wants for us I remember a lady that I once met on one of the healing courses down country in Somerset and she was in her 80s early 80s and uh, she had um, she was talking about how when she grew up she she'd wanted to be a nurse but her dad had really sort of pressured her to become a teacher and she'd been a, a successful teacher a really good teacher but the way she was talking she was talking about her dad very much in the present tense and you know I was thinking well she's in her mid 80s so that makes make her dad you know well over a hundred and then I found out that her dad had died when she was 29 and she lived her life trying to please her dad and although that is a wonderful thing, um, actually it had held her back from being fully the person she wanted to be. And after the healing course was over, she very kindly wrote to me and invited me back for, to her baptism. And uh, at that baptism, she wanted to cry out, Abba, Father, to God as the one who truly loves her and enables her to be fully who she could be. She was in her mid-80s. She was not sure how many years she had left, but she wasn't actually going to hold back any longer. And that's my encouragement for us today, to think not about holding back. Don't postpone the time of the Spirit. Don't postpone those moments where you, you know, you don't have to let rip loudly or demonstratively. You can do so quietly, but you are fully able to be you. And I'm able to be me. And those times can come sometimes um, 
by being planned, sometimes they just happen spontaneously. I remember when I first heard the song, No Longer a Slave to Fear. Um, it was created by Bethel Music and, and it was really great. But what really turned it for me was when I heard the version by a guy called Zach Williams. I'll ask Kirsty to post it. And it really spoke to me because here was a guy who knew what it was like to go into prison, to be in prison, and was going back into prison to the people who were in, in bondage and yet was actually singing a song to set them and himself free. It is how we see it. No longer a slave to fear, we choose to be children of God. And that would be my prayer for all of us today, that as the rains come, we may know the blessing of the Spirit and be able to be fully children of God. So have a good rest of the day. Look forward to seeing you on Sunday. God bless for now. Bye for now.